following animations will teach how to tell a well-constructed and feature-rich flatbed lathe from one that may be too light or too poorly equipped for your needs. We hope when you are shopping, it helps you root out machines with inferior specifications and feature deficiencies. And we trust that the deeper you look, the more that you'll agree that Momentum's MFB is better built than similar machines, irrespective of their prices. We'll start by peeling off the sheet metal so that you can see the essential components of this MFB 4040 model, as well as those of a generic lathe. The MFB is available with three, four, five, and six meter bed lengths. In this case, both illustrated machines have four meter bed lengths and they are equipped with one meter diameter chucks. The generic machine is no specific brand but it incorporates commonly used construction, so it may resemble models that you have seen. The MFB is massively built. No flatbed lathe in its machine class has better specifications, and few come close to matching its construction. To give a few highlights, the MFB's bed is 1.3 meters wide, made of heavily ribbed, stress-relieved, meonite cast iron, and has induction-hardened box waves. The headstock contains either three or four speed gearing and the spindle features two sets of extra heavy-duty, tapered roller, extra precision bearings. For an easy point of comparison between lathes, consider the Z-axis ball screw. The MFB's ball screw measures 80 millimeters in diameter, and it is mounted between the main carriage's box ways. It's also gear-driven, with a 4 to 1 reduction for extra torque. By contrast, particularly on machines with narrower beds, you will commonly see the ball screw placed outside of the ways altogether, which creates undesirable force dynamics. The ball screws of competitive flatbed lathes may be only 50 millimeters in diameter. They may also be belt-driven, not gear-driven. All of this saves money, but at a cost to rigidity. Check bed width, headstock gearing, ball screw placement and ball screw diameter in brochures and quotations. All should be disclosed for quality lathes. The MFB features two complete independent sets of box ways. The first box way set hosts the standard 12-tool turret. The second box way set can host a variety of productivity options, such as steady rests for supporting long workpieces, an optional subcarriage for holding a long boring bar, or an ejector drill for deep ID work. This subcarriage has an added ability in that it parks those attachments out of the way when not in use. A key advantage of putting the subcarriage and steady rests on an independent set of ways is that this allows the main turret to traverse its full travel length without those mechanisms interfering. Competitive flatbed lathes typically just have one set of box ways. The main turret, a boring attachment, and any steady rests all share the same ways, creating interference headaches and necessitating extra setups to machine workpieces. To quickly confirm the number of boxway sets, view the photographs of the inside of the machine. The MFB offers standard, a 12-station hydraulic turret. 12 stations provide more tooling flexibility for faster part processing and reduced setup times. The turret also features bi-directional rotation for quick tool changes, a compact design for clearance, and high rigidity to withstand heavy cutting. 
and the MFB comes standard with split ID block holders for the absolute best boring rigidity. By comparison, many flatbed lays offer small turrets with only four to eight stations. These may not provide enough tools for complex workpieces, and so they often necessitate manual tool change interruptions during the machining operation, as well as additional tool swap outs between setups. Check the lathe's brochure or quotation to confirm the number of turret stations on the machine. Every MFB includes several important productivity, ergonomic, and safety features. Among them, a full sheet metal enclosure. This enclosure provides for both operator safety and chip and coolant containment. A rear coolant collector. This collector is standard and a rear chuck is optional. Operator access stairs. The stairs hide under the headstock during machining and they slide to enable easy machine access where required. Two chip conveyors. Dual conveyors provide the maximum chip evacuation, minimizing operator interventions to remove chips. A power tailstock. The MT6 Live Center tailstock features hydraulic body positioning and hydraulic quill extension for easy setups. Other lays may not offer these as options, let alone standard. For example, absent a front chip conveyor, coolant and chips often end up on the floor in front of the machine, requiring manual cleanup. Check brochures to confirm a sheet metal enclosure, movable operator access stairs, dual conveyors, and a power tailstock. The MFB's standard Fanuc spindle motor rates at 45 kilowatts. There is also an option for a motor rated at 55 kilowatts. More power removes metal more quickly. Flatbed lathes in the same size class offer spindle motors with only 23 kilowatts as a standard. These lathes deliver less cutting productivity. It is easy to check machine literature to compare spindle power. The structural components of the MFP, including the base, head stock, and tail stock, are constructed from the highest quality cast iron and then stress relieved for deformation free performance year after year. The completed MFB 4040 model weighs more than 27,000 kilograms. All of that iron resists cutting forces in a way that lighter designs just cannot. Many competitors weigh just one half to two third of what the MFB does. Consult the machine literature to confirm machine mass. The MFP features 1320 millimeters of standard workpiece swing over the way covers, and larger swing is optional. And, depending on tailstock selection, the MFB's between centers capacity ranges from 8,000 kg to 12,000 kg. Even if you will never run such large work, this capacity means a longer lasting machine. By contrast, typical competitive lathes offer just 1,000 mm of swing diameter, and they are limited to 4,000 kg mass between centers. Check literature to determine capacities. 
We hope this video helps you separate flatbed lathes when it comes to construction quality. Taking only a couple of minutes to confirm each point above can help you avoid settling for an inferior machine. And we trust that when you do compare, you'll appreciate that Momentum gives you more machine and far more for your money than does any other choice. And please contact us if you would like assistance in benchmarking any other flatbed lathes that you may be considering or for application assistance regarding your machining needs.